Nope, it's it's empty. I think I have not been able to say a complete sentence this whole video. <laughs> this looks funny. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my trash. Isn't that exciting? Basically, over the course of the last couple months, maybe even longer, I have been collecting my uh, used products in a little bag and I figured that once I got enough of them I would be able to talk to you guys all about the products, let you know if I like them, um, if I'm going to repurchase them, things like that. And to be fair, I want to say that usually if I've used up a product, I did like it. Like I don't generally keep using products that I dislike. There are some that maybe are just like, okay, that I want to get through, um, either because they were kind of expensive or just because I don't have a replacement at the time. But for the most part, um, I would say these products are ones that I really enjoy using. So before we get into it, I just want to show you guys my shirt. Like I'm obsessed with this shirt and it's got like shoulder pads. Um, I got it from Zara and it's got like uh, little gems here, little like diamond things and I don't know, I'm obsessed with it and I figured you can't really see it when I'm sitting normally so I had to show you guys and then I got this little matching clip, it doesn't, I guess it matches, I don't know, um, but anyway I do have a lot of products here to show you guys so I figured let's just get into it. Alright, so let's start off with primer. I have two here that I wanted to show you guys. Um, one I just spoke about in my last video, that's the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. And then the other one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's pretty much all used up. And I actually have another one that's basically used up. Um, I just it's in my bathroom. I really enjoy both of these primers a lot. I would have to say if I had to choose one, I would go with the Photo Finish uh, Primerizer, the Smashbox one, but they're both really nice. The reason that I would choose this one is because it's definitely like a moisturizer and primer in one, as the name suggests. It's very nourishing, hydrating, um, and it's just like a beautiful primer. I use this under so many foundations and they look beautiful. It's also good at making my makeup last. I mean, I do use like setting sprays and stuff, which I'll get to that definitely help with that as well. But I find that my makeup lasts pretty well with this, even though it is more of a moisturizing product and not like a um, super tacky, like, um, gripping primer like some of my other ones but yeah so I have that one and then this one is uh also great it's formulated with coconut water and two other super great ingredients uh, that I can't think of off the top of my head but I remember um learning about it yeah, I really enjoy both of these so um I would check them out if you haven't already. Okay, so the next product is a foundation. This is the Clinique Even Better Glow. Don't mind mine looking kind of nasty. Also, don't mind my nails. Like, we're in quarantine, guys. Just, just ignore them. So the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup um, is a beautiful foundation. Basically, this is a sheer to medium coverage foundation that just gives you that beautiful lit from within glow. It has SPF 15, which is nice. And I don't know, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just like a beautiful foundation. I know my friend Jess, shout out Jess, uh, will be very proud of me that I'm talking about these because she loves Clinique. I don't know, I just really enjoy this. If you've been, um, you know, watching me from the beginning, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I feel like it's just like a very underrated foundation. They have a pretty decent shade range. I'm in the shade CN10 Alabaster, and yeah. All right, a powder. This guy, oh man, I used to be obsessed with this powder, and I would say I still kind of am. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to purchasing a new one, but this is the Kat Von D Locket Blotting Powder, and I have the shade Light. I would open it to show you that there's nothing left, but, I mean, you can kind of see there. 
it's in little tiny pieces and so I really can't get much out of there um but this was definitely one of my top favorite powders that I've ever tried I just find that it really smooths down any pores any fine lines I use it underneath my eyes and in the t-zone just to powder any um like cream products concealer things like that and I just really enjoyed this powder. Um, I love the packaging. It's like a little, like old fashioned stamp. Yep. I don't know what I'm doing with this hand, but yep. Um, and it's a good one. I'm definitely going to pick up another one once I get the chance. All right. Um, if you watch my previous video, you'll see that I already purchased a backup of this guy. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and it's in the shade bronzer, the standard shade. And again, I don't even want to open it for you, but can you see like how dirty the cap is? Because it broke. Um, there's really not, oh my God. There's really like no product left in here. There's just like a tiny little piece floating around. But um, yeah, oh, and now it's on me. <laughs> I really like this bronzer. I won't harp on it too much because I did discuss it in my last video, uh, which you can check up here. Where is it up here? I don't know, up there somewhere. <laughs> it's a beautiful, glowy, like sheeny, overall nice bronzy glow. So there's that. Oh, I literally just opened and spilled all over my floor. Great. And the next product is an eyeliner. This is the Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner, and I have the shade Boss, I believe. It's the black. Um, this is what it looks like. And as you, oh, there's like a little smudger on one side. As you can tell, I never really used that. Um, and then the other side. Oh, I guess there was some product in there. Look at that. It didn't want to twist up when I... Wait, does it twist up? Oh my god. Uh, no, see, look. When I try to... It, like, is in there. And then I twist it up. And that's as far as it goes. But... No, nothing's coming out. So, this is... A dud. No, I really, really enjoyed this um, eyeliner. It is super long lasting, super black. Oh, I didn't know it was made in Korea. Is milk a Korean brand? Am I just discovering this? Interesting. I'm probably gonna repurchase it, um, but I do have so many other eyeliners, so we'll see. But I definitely would repurchase it, so. All right, another eye product is this one. This is the NARS Climax Mascara. It comes in this cool red packaging. And I I know there are so many mixed reviews on this product, but I really enjoyed it. Um, this is what the wand looks like. Let's get a better view of that for you. I mean, generally when it comes to mascaras, I'm pretty easy to please, but this one, I just found that it really lengthened my lashes. It added a little bit of volume to them as well. And it just kind of made them look good overall. I do have a backup, so don't even have to uh, repurchase a new one because I already have one. It worked for me, so it may or may not work for you. I know that there are a lot of people that it doesn't work for. Um, but for me, I personally really liked it. Setting sprays. I've got a couple for you. Let's start off with drugstore. I have not one, not two, but three of the Morphe uh, Continuous Setting Mist. They're a little dusty. Um, do I even have to explain? This is my all-time favorite setting spray, either um, drugstore or high-end. I really, really love this. The mist on it is beautiful. Um, it makes my makeup stay all day long um it doesn't you know put those little like splotchy droplets on your face I have another one somewhere i just don't know where i put it so i've been using a different uh setting spray for now which i will actually get to in a moment morphe 
love you. Okay, another drugstore one is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Looks like this. And um, like I mentioned in the beginning, I generally like the products that I use up. Um, and there, this one was just the same. This one is supposed to be a three in one where it primes, corrects, and sets. I never use it as like a primer or um, a corrector or anything like that. I just use it as a setting spray and I liked it a lot. It's literally completely empty. It's like dried down on the bottom, like nothing. I don't really remember the mist on it, but I'm gonna say that it was a decent one because for most setting sprays, if their, if their mist is like wild and aggressive, I tend to toss it or give it away or uh, find a new home for it. But there's that one. That one's pretty good. I do prefer the Morphe one. I actually, I do prefer the Morphe one over all of these, but it's a good one if you want. Um, I think that one's even more affordable. I'll leave all the prices to everything in the description, but I'm pretty sure that one's um, the most affordable one that I'm showing you. So if you want a cheaper option, you can go for that. Okay, moving into the high-end ones. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Cult favorite. Do I have to talk about this much? It's another great one. I had the bigger one somewhere. Uh, this is like the travel size, but I did have the big size at one point. And again, I really like this one. I would say this is like the first setting spray that I ever used. I'm trying to see if anything would come out, but there's nothing. I would say this one really is a long lasting uh, setting spray. As the name suggests, look at that. Brands name in their things, things that are relevant. All nighter, yep. And then the final one, is a little bit of a cheat because there is a tiny bit left in there, but this is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray. This I've had for way too long. It's probably time for me to get rid of it, but there's just there's a little bit left. So um, this is actually the one I used on my face today um, because I had it in front of me. I would say the way I enjoy using this the most is to make my eyeshadows pop more. So I'll like use it to wet my brush and go into an eyeshadow that way. And I find that it not only wets the brush and like, you know, makes it easier to pick up product, but it makes the product last longer. So um, that's a little trick. If you want your eyeshadows to pop, to be a little bit more pigmented, you can wet your brush doesn't have to be with setting spray it could you can just wet it with water but I find that the setting spray really brings out the longevity of it yeah another one I enjoyed and I am going to use up the last bit of this so that's all the bits for makeup um now let's move into skincare the first items I have are makeup wipes now I know what you're thinking Heather why are you using makeup wipes they're bad for the environment they are usually not even that great. Like, what are you doing? And I agree with you, which is why I am making a commitment to no longer use makeup wipes. And I'm stating it here first. I do have one pack left in my bathroom that I'm going to finish up because I don't want it to go to waste. But um, after that, I'm gonna be a makeup wipe less gal. So yeah, but anyway, um, so the ones that I have to show you today are the Clinique Take the Day Off Micellar Cleansing Towelettes. I don't want to encourage anyone to go out and buy makeup wipes, but if for some reason you need to have makeup wipes, these are the ones you should get. Um, they just do the best at removing makeup and they're super gentle and they are the best. <laughs> I don't want to say they're the best because, you know, I haven't tried every makeup wipe out there, but um, they're really good. They are a little bit pricier than, say, the next ones that I'm going to show you, but there are 50 in here opposed to the normal 25 or 20 that come in your standard package. So the price is pretty much the same once you divide it by the number of wipes. So there's the Clinique ones. 
And then I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. I've got three of them here. And these, you would think that I'm obsessed with because I have three of them. I would say they're good. They're definitely an awesome alternative. I mostly used these for like makeup swatches, for like cleaning up fallout underneath the eye. Are they good at removing makeup? Yeah, they're not bad. They're pretty decent. Um, they're also great for sensitive skin. So if you're wondering what I'm gonna use instead of makeup wipes, um, I do have the Garnier Micellar Water and I'm going to use that. And I recently purchased these, I think they're made out of bamboo, these um, reusable cotton rounds. They come in a little mesh bag and you use them. And then once you use all of them, um, you put them back in the little mesh bag and just, just throw it in your washing machine with like some sheets or some towels or whatever. And um, then they come out nice and brand new. And I haven't tried them yet because they didn't get here yet, but I will link the ones that I purchased. I got them off Amazon. I'll link them in the description below. Um, if you follow, what's her name? Alex from I Covet Fee on YouTube. She's actually the one that um, recommended them. I'll link her channel below. So that's what I'm doing instead of makeup wipes. Cleanser. Again, I'm slightly cheating because there is a tiny bit left in here, but this is another Clinique product. I actually have a couple of Clinique products in this um, in this video, but this is the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap in Mild. It's for dry to combination skin. Um, this is a beautiful face wash. This was one of the first ones that I really got into using that I repurchased. It's mild, so it's not super... Um, stripping it's great for the skin and I feel like it leaves your skin feeling nice and clean I don't like when a face wash is too gentle to where you use it and then you're like okay but the, did that do anything you know um, this one definitely does something and I love that it comes in a pump so you don't have to like I don't know I guess most face wash is coming to pump, right? Love this cleanser, keep it in my shower. The other Clinique product that I'm mentioning is the Clarifying Lotion Twice a Day Exfoliator. It's the one that comes in like this purpley bottle, um, number two. Mine is also for dry and combination skin. Uh, in case you didn't know, I have dry skin. I use this as a toner. Not sure if that's exactly what the purpose of it is, but I use it as a twice a day um, toner after I use the face wash. I usually keep the face wash that I just mentioned in my shower um, and then I alternate which which face wash I'm using when I'm not taking a shower and then after that I'll go in with the exfoliator. It's a chemical exfoliator so um, for those of you that aren't familiar with chemical exfoliators they're a lot more um, gentle than a physical exfoliator one that has like those beads in it and they, these you can use up to twice a day. It kind of distributes the product more evenly than if you were using a physical exfoliator that you kind of rub on the skin. I would do your research, but um, I much prefer a chemical exfoliant than a physical one. And this is my go-to one. This does contain alcohol, so I would keep that in mind. However, it's, the good kind of alcohol, you know? That's what I've been told. And it doesn't dry out your skin. It leaves your skin feeling nice and refreshed. Um, that's one of the things I really love about this is you use it and then you just feel like awake and ready for the day and ready for the next products that you're gonna use. So after I use the toner, I'll go in with my serum. And this all started from this little guy. This little baby came, I think, in an Ipsy bag. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure in a little Ipsy bag. This is the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. All day nourishing for all skin types. What a product. What a beauty. I was obsessed with this, and so I purchased the big boy. This is just a lovely, lovely skin serum. This is what... <laughs> that tight don't this is from the eyeliner that i tried to swatch before this little dot is what's left 
of my serum but it's such a beautiful serum it's super hydrating um it has like a gel consistency but it just soaks into the skin so nicely it has that honey in it so it's really calming and it's just it's so nice it says it contains honey silk amino acid sea buckthorn oil and vitamin e which provide intense moisture and radiant smooth skin i would have to say serums are my favorite skincare product just because i i love the way they feel i have not yet repurchased it just because like i said i have so many other serums but I definitely would and probably will in the future. And the final product that I'm gonna talk about is a moisturizer, and that is the Mamande Floral Hydro Cream, uh, the Flower Narcissus version. This one that comes in the blue tub. What a lovely moisturizer. I know, <laughs> I'm kind of repeating myself, but again, products that I tend to finish are ones that I tend to enjoy. So you, if you look in there, there's like a tiny bit left, but um, for the most part, I've scraped this thing dry. And this is like a gel consistency of a moisturizer. It's so refreshing, so beautiful on the skin. It just leaves your skin super satisfied and like you just drink some water. It's, it's great. Um, I really love Monday as a brand. For If you've never heard of it, I would definitely check it out. It is a, um, is it a Korean brand? Yeah, it's a Korean brand. All right, guys. So that pretty much completes this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed what you've seen. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, if you like them, if you don't like them. Um, what are your, let's see, what do I want to ask? Um, what's one product that you've, finished up this month that you either are going to repurchase or that you really didn't like that you don't know why you purchased it to begin with um let me know in the comments below and with that I believe that's all I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one bye